My name is Bruce Fowle, founding principal of FX Fowle Architects. I collaborated with Renzo Piano on the design of the New York Times building. This was a truly collaborative design process. RPBW and FX Fowle and the entire design team engaged in a rigorous planning and systems coordination effort that resulted in a seamless integration of core, skin, and interior spaces unprecedented at this scale. There were many design challenges. We were importing European practices and technologies into the American marketplace. We needed to find harmony between Renzo's vision and New York City office building standards. We had to create innovative solutions and procurement strategies to achieve buildability and affordability within the construction industry in the U.S. We needed to find the balance between what was ideal for the New York Times and what was ideal for the Far City Ratner space. The original vision from the competition required a major transformation in order to meet the specific requirements of both the New York Times company and the Forest City Ratner Corporation. We were fortunate to have Gensler join the team as programmers and interior designers for the New York Times. We also worked with a number of experts in the real estate industry to determine the ideal layout for the speculative space. The position of the core was an extremely important part of this process. It started out as a side core. It ended up as a central core because that seemed to be the best for all conditions. With the expression of the structure being part of the vision, the engineers, Thornton Tomasetti, played an unusually important role in the design process. Much of the building's quality comes from the integration of the structural systems with the architecture. The clarity and symmetry of the core, combined with the openness and transparency of the ground floor, required a great deal of innovation and inventiveness emanating from Flack and Kurtz, the mechanical engineers. The process evolved into a series of team workshops alternating between Paris, Genoa, and New York. This combined with open communication and in-depth participation by our clients enabled the team to reach the full potential of the project.